Or you can you announce the you can announce the subjects, four on the floor and stuff like that. You want to go four on the floor? Uh, so announce this. Look into the, the, look into the thing banks. if you can read that and say four on the floor. Coming up next on the sports show with Woody Page and Les Shapiro, four on the floor brought to you by Citywide Banks. Wow. Good job. You're Thank like you. a real announcer. It's like a real announcer. And now he can, as we talk, he can kind of say, less is ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning out of the turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so four on the floor, you, and you can participate if you want. All right. Four on the yeah, floor is uh, four questions, and uh, we each get, because you're here, 20 seconds. When you hear the bell, you have to keep quiet. You're done. Okay? First question. Should the Rockies consider... Dave Dombrowski, who was just let go by the Detroit Tigers, for this team's presidency. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider Jonathan for the team presidency. <laughs> of course, the guy has proven it. He took a bad, do you know how bad the Tigers were when I he do. got there? He took a bad Detroit Tigers team and turned them into World Series Consistent contenders. Consistent division winner. Yeah. That would be. But see, the thing about it is, that's too smart. And if they were smart, they'd do that, but they're not. Well, here's the other Cause, thing. Because if they were smart, they'd do that, and then they'd win, and you, we could all get half price pizzas from <laughs> Papa John's every day. Here's, here's the other thing about that. Um, that that would bother me. Dabrowski is a smart guy. There you go. Have some pizza. Where's his, Dabrowski uh, is a smart guy. Cinnamon. But he's also used to working with a very big payroll. Um, he's handed out a lot of big, big contracts. I don't know that he's going to be happy coming here and having his hands tied uh, by Dick Monfort. Okay. You got an opinion? I would say that where the Detroit Tigers were, where the Rockies are now, I think it's a no-brainer. Take a team that is in this position and see if they can do what the Tigers did. He would make them a smarter team because right now their interim president is the owner. And he hasn't done a very good job as the interim president. All right, question number two. Baylor's athletic director believes the college football playoffs will and should expand by the year 2020, and he believes it should expand to eight teams. Jonathan, you got an opinion on that? I think that there was this reluctance to have the college football playoffs with four teams, but then showing the ratings, the success of the games, and that you can make it financially viable and competitive that I think there's room to grow and I think people want eight teams because you want to see the best football and we saw it last year those were three of the best college football games in succession that we've seen in the last few years. Boy we never get applause when we give our answers. Woodrow? Well my answer is I think the, 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 there's a ring to Woody and Jonathan. <laughs> 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 uh, of course, I've always thought eight was the right number, so I'm, I'm totally for it. But I would say, why is he saying it? Because Baylor and TCU got left out last yep. year. And the Big 12 is trying to figure out a way to kind of finagle, finagle itself into the playoff. And that may be the only way is to expand it. But eight's the right number. Bowl games don't mean anything anymore. If the other bowl games, do you really care about it? No. You got to incorporate other those other bowls into part of this process. So give them a piece of the pie because it's not working out for them. Yeah, I, I, uh, having the fruit nuts and bolts bowls, the now. weed eater bowl. I, I'm all for eight teams too. And and he made a great point. The Baylor athletic director made a great point. He said, look, the the teams that are ranked ninth and tenth and eleventh and twelfth, they don't have a a good case to make for for being a part of the championship series but a team that's fifth like his team was last year like his his program was last year What'd you they here? they could be they could be the best team in the country and they should get a shot so i think eight teams is the right number uh, all right you all right well it's one of those five thousand whiskeys that happened, and you sneaked it in there all right uh question number three rory mcelroy or Jordan Spieth, who wins next week? Well, Roy's coming off the torn ligaments in his ankle. He says he wants to play. There are people out there suggesting he shouldn't play, that he should recover. He's young. He can come back. He's throwing the medicine ball around. He's hitting golf balls. I think you don't let these opportunities go by. He won the PGA last year. I don't think he's going to win. I think Jordan Spieth has a very good chance to win. He is motivated. We talked about Peyton being motivated. He's motivated. He was so close to winning the British Open and winning the Grand Slam. I think he's going to do it again. Yeah, I'm with it. It's got to be Spieth, simply because Rory's coming off uh, 
some time off and, and an injury. So I, I'm Spieth all the way on this one. One of the things that impressed me most about Spieth was he came up one stroke short, but in the final round of the Open, he had a double bogey on the front nine and then came back birdie birdie. His mental poise is amazing for somebody so young. So any tournament, I take Spieth. Okay, and last question, Bill Simmons who uh, started Grantland.com on the ESPN site, has left and is now going to HBO, uh, a big New England sports fan. So when he writes, and you should probably be the one to take all of our time here because you're a writer, when he writes, does he sound too much like a homer or does he make legitimate points? Is there any objectivity to what he says or what he writes? He's both. He's a homer. But he also makes legitimate points. He, he started out as a blogger. I think uh, every blogger in America, America should salute him. He uses him as a model. Because yeah. he was a blogger in New England, and he was totally a homer. But because he's been doing NBA broadcasts, he's had to sort of uh, objectivize himself. He has to be less of a homer, but he will always tell you he loves Boston teams. You read him? I do, and I took a class at USC where Bill Simmons was a guest speaker in a class called Sports Commentary, and he specifically said, he goes, I'm not your typical journalist. I, that's not the approach that he makes, and he says he's a homer. He wants his teams to win. He still wants to report what happens, but at the end of the day, he has a rooting interest, in, and I don't really mind that. I mean, you know, you, he brings some personality to it, and so he is being someone from New England who wants the New England teams to win. But then when he has to do some serious reporting, as he had to do for the NBA telecast, he can do that too. I think he's a wonderfully entertaining reporter. I see him more as a pop culture type reporter. I mean, he mixes so many pop culture references into his pieces that it's almost more about pop culture than it is about sports. Um, however, I will say this. When he writes about the teams that we know best, the local teams here, he gets a lot of facts wrong. Yeah, well, he just gets it wrong. So I read him from an entertainment standpoint. I try not to listen or read him to get my sports information because I think some of it is inaccurate. That's what I found. All right. That's Four on the Floor, brought to you by Citywide Banks. Citywide is a family-owned, Colorado-focused business bank. They have 12 locations across Denver and Boulder, so there is one near you. You just got to look around a little bit better. They have more than 25 services that your business could use, and they support a lot of charities around Colorado. So do what we do. Do your banking at Citywide Banks.